that solo really sucks. I'm a terrible musician. I'm a terrible guitar player. I'm not going to play the guitar ever again. I should have been listening to my parents <laughs> and choose another profession. <laughs> So I want to tell you a story about my own playing. I have been playing for many years and I have been improvising for many years. And one thing that frequently happens to me is, for example, I'm playing a solo on a session or a concert and then those negative thoughts creep up and they tell me like, oh, this note didn't sound good and oh, 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 your, your timing, really? Now watch out, watch out. Yes, those thoughts accumulate and then after one or two choruses, I stop improvising because I'm convinced it was terrible that thing that I have been playing, those lines haven't been in time and I stop after two choruses and sort of give up. Or another situation would be I am on a session <clears throat> and I could accompany somebody but maybe there's also a pianist who's very confident in his abilities to accompany somebody. He looks at me and yes, maybe I'm going to come, yes, maybe no, okay. And then I more or less shyly comp but sometimes I just don't do it if I don't have to do it. And this has been true for many, many years. Just recently I'm starting to get out of this pattern because I'm realizing that it stems from negative thoughts, from a negative thought spiral and that's the topic that I want to talk about today because I think not enough people are talking about that and it's also a skill that you have to master. You have to master the ability to not be stopped by your thought and also to realize that they are only thought because if you don't understand that you're just like you know you can't have so much experience in playing longer solos or in comping and that's a pity because jazz is a highly complex competitive field and if you don't take the chance on something somebody else will take the chance for sure. So I want to share some tips that help me get out of a negative thought spiral. Those tips don't relate to guitar playing in the first place but I think if we are able to watch our thoughts and get some distance in our day-to-day -day life it's also going to be much easier to not take our thoughts so seriously when we are playing. So one thing that helps me a lot is to point my attention to a more complex task. So that could be editing a YouTube video or also transcribing a song, but something that really needs a lot of concentration and this will help me get out of my negative thought spiral. My favorite tip and the tip that I like the most is to write down what is happening and then make a separation <laughs> between the facts and my thoughts. So for example, the facts might be I go on a session, I get on stage, I don't know the song, I play a solo and I go home. <laughs> So those are the facts. And then on the other hand, it's like, why didn't I know those songs? This is so embarrassing. I am supposed to know all the songs. That solo really sucks. I'm a terrible musician. I'm a terrible guitar player. Going to play the guitar ever again. I should have been listening to my parents. <laughs> just to give you a glimpse into my, in my brain. So try that. Just write down what happens. What are the facts and what is going on in your head? Because yes, the fantasies, they can get so big also, especially Especially for upcoming concerts or challenging events, I'm trying to not get into so much thinking about how it's going to be. If I understand that I'm doing that, I try to stop that. Another thing that really helps me is organizing my surroundings or cleaning up, getting everything in its place that has a very soothing effect and then I have the power to tackle that beast of a jazz guitar again. And of course meditation is something that helps me a lot. So I'm using the Headspace app and I'm doing some of the courses there for example for acceptance or also for productivity. They are 10 minutes long and I try to do that every day. It doesn't work out like this but I try to do that together with some yoga. That's the perfect day practicing and yoga and 
meditating. The last exercise that really helps me and that didn't start out as an exercise is to film myself playing a solo or record myself and it's crazy because of course you can't see all the thoughts on the screen but I know that I have been thinking them and I know that they really don't have so much to do with the music that I'm making and that helps me also to be a little bit more relaxed because I know how I sound much more. That's it for today. I hope you're doing fine. Get your guitar out of the box and start practicing. Bye.